while the tanker, while I uh, establish it. Kitty Brovic was one. Uh, other one evades me. Uh, as an exercise, our captain came up astern, not wanting to to uh, provide a target for the others just in case. It was an armed merchant credit. So he let off uh, 18 projectiles at this thing. We eventually sucked them. Uh, we, the crew was evacuated from the ship woods. And uh, we picked them up, mostly Chinese, very pleased to see us. Uh, the Germans, not so. Um, in the in the ammunition expended report that went into the naval board, the uh, 200 inch oh, explosive <laughs> expended on these two merchant ships. Uh, back home signal. Please confirm clause the subparagraph five as to our uh, ammunition expended. So I had to confirm what the, what the uh, total was. Oddly enough, I found afterwards that the person who originated the signal was to be the captain of the Sydney. Um, anyway, we took the, the uh, Germans and the Chinese back to Fremantle. Um, in the meantime, this convoy came along for Singapore. I had an idea that my brother might have been on one of the ships. Uh, I went along and inquired, yes, I caught up with him. He was in the 8th Diffie Sigs. Uh, we went ashore at Fremantle. We went back on board. The next day we sailed. Arrived in Singapore, I saw him disembark. Uh, for all intents and purposes, he knew I was on the camera. Uh, we left Singapore and we on all convoy duty. And uh, in February, 10th of February, we arrived in Fremantle. Uh, at the same time as the Perth arrived for the second time. Perth had arrived there uh, a couple of days before, gone out of the emergency, came back in again, and the signal was sent as to whether I could join the ship. Uh, we asked by well, what authority, and uh, they've bought signal so and so as credit. And I had to do a pair head jump pack up everything, get on board Perth before she sailed. Um, Thank you Gavin. I um, lost image somehow. I don't know why. Oh that's better. So uh -huh. yeah, it's only a half wasn't reading it properly. Um, what were your duties uh, as an officer on the well, I, I was I was in the supply department. Uh, the supply department constitutes uh, uh, mainly accounts, uh, stores, and uh, secretarial. I was appointed as the captain secretary to Captain Waller, uh, and the captain secretary's duty uh, was the ship's correspondence, the ship's records. Uh, liaison with the executive officer, liaison with the master at arms, and uh, generally seeing that the captain's instructions carried out, um, and looking after all correspondence, inwards and outwards. Now, and records. how many days was it after Perth left Fremantle to became involved as part of the 
the, the group in the Battle of the I, uh, I joined sea. Perth on the uh, 10th of February. We arrived up in, in uh, Tanjong Prio uh, about the uh, 17th. We then sailed to Surabaya. Uh, we were put under the command of, of uh, Admiral Dorman uh, with a combined fleet called ABDA. So it's American, British, Dutch, Australian. Uh, they'd been hastily put together. Uh, there was one American ship, the Houston, one British, Exeter, two Dutch, the uh, Java and De Reuter, and the Australian Perth, with uh, nine destroyers, both RN, uh, American and Dutch. Uh, we were assembled in Surabaya uh, to anticipate, or ultimately to, to uh, find a Japanese convoy which had been reported proceeding southwards from the Philippines uh, across the uh, China Sea towards Java. Uh, we were set out on the um, 26th of uh, February to locate this uh, fleet and it wasn't until, well, yeah, it was late, late afternoon that no, the Japanese were sighted. Dorman engaged, line ahead with 8 inch cruisers and 6 inch cruisers following each other with a, a screen of destroyers. Uh, the Japanese opened fire and uh, it was just a matter of an aunt Sally uh, pick up the range of the leading ship and just keep on firing. The other ships didn't follow. Uh, uh, Waller was uh, frustrated because it wasn't his range, he only had six inch cruiser. So eventually he did break the line and engaged at extreme range. The uh, exit was hit. Uh, we provided a smoke screen for it. In the meantime, uh, the Japanese had launched torpedo attacks, uh, which was avoided. And, um, the whole battle just uh, was mainly gunnery and uh, smoke screens you put up. This went on for about three hours. Uh, Perth was travelling. They would see the flash of the guns on the horizon and the next moment you'd hear them come over. Uh, peculiar shells a splash. It wasn't one of these high things you see in the portrayal of pictures. Uh, it was all, almost a plop. Uh, but when it's either side of you, you worry a bit. Uh, However, we were lucky we weren't hit. Uh, we covered Exeter. Exeter was ordered to retire. Uh, so she headed towards uh, Lombok. Uh, in the meantime, we'd scored a couple of hits on Japanese. They retired behind smoke screen. So they were both, both fleets were, were going around behind smoke screens. The destroyers suffered. Uh, we'd lost six 